race in the mansion where you're going to be taking her to rip out the clothes and get naked in front of me, hand me the guns, pants, badges, guns, and all. And that's their security. And you think you're going to be going to that for Mississippi? Not this trip, not to Oxford. Right, so you've been there. They're ripping off the clothes and cops for you and me. Yourself. That was having affairs with 10,000 women. Five right on Hee Haw, the TV show. You said you think Elvis has had affairs with 10,000 yeah. women? Mm -hmm. And uh, put up 175,000 women pictures. All right, now if you, ought, you ought to get her to come back here and sprinkle out here all a couple hours, to move, even less than that. You ready? Okay. Bring the foxy pretty lady back. Okay. <laughs> and spray 3,000 cans of blue spray paint. Okay. Because he did a song called Blue Christmas. He couldn't pronounce the word blue. He kept saying boo 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 because my friends were wearing shoulders. The city said, why don't you leave some Christmas orbs up? I kind of a song that maybe she heard or you did. On the eagle's head. Well, I can't ever do they be like Christmas. <laughs> so I'm um, here teacher on the radio with the world's greatest Elvis fan, Mr. McLeod, in his shrine, his Elvis shrine, he never leaves. He's here 365 days a year, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. If he has enough tours, he won't sleep. And I asked Mr. McLeod, how do you eat? And he said, the police bring him pizza. And that's how he lives. He drinks 24 cans of Coke a day. Is this your first time in the state of Mississippi? This is uh, my first time in this uh, beautiful shrine uh, to yeah. fandom. See, I, I believe in fandom. Yeah. I've been a rock and roll fan since I could, I could, to, could listen to a record. And I have considered myself a big fan, but you are the biggest fan of any kind that I've ever met. And it's an honor. It was a pilgrimage to come here, really. Oh, man, sir. great meeting you. <clears throat> I was just, now, is this your first time in Mississippi? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm a U.S. male, and I was born in a Mississippi town on a Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. Now, Mississippi just happens to occupy a place in the southeastern portion of this here United States. Now, that's a matter of fact, buddy, and you know it well. That's why I was calling myself the U.S. male. That's the M-A-L-E sign. That's me. Is your mother married? Pardon? Is your mother married? Yeah. Is your grandmother married? I'm getting lonely. Yeah. <clears throat> Turn around and bring her down here. It's pretty good. I'm married. I'm married. I'm married. <laughs> we'll have 100 kids. I'll get dressed in my bureau suit. Uh -huh. I'll name the kids all else. And I'll let him pay the job support. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Any questions? Thank you. Yeah, it's thank been, you very it's much. It's been a huge honor. 